Welcome aboard our... Oh, okay. Hi guys, welcome back. I just sold him an eye. Uh, and I got 18,000. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll just fucking resume it from here. Um... So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I am getting in the middle of just getting rid of some stupid shit I don't need. And I've also decided something. I do not actually need all these tools. Um, so I'm actually going to give this guy the fine tools that I have. I brought you tools. Alright, the ones for fine work. I decided that it's there's no point in waiting for it. We also have this gun here. Uh, what the fuck? I, just, I thought I just gave this guy vodka. What a fucking piece of shit. I have like a ton in here. So, what I am going to do is... I'm gonna upgrade both these guns, I think. And maybe this one too. Actually, this one's really nice. You see, I have I have some ammunition for it. Uh, but I think we're gonna use a Colt for a while. So let's just get rid of all my shotgun shells for a sec. But we're gonna take the gun with us though. I'll see if there's more ammunition for this, but we already have like a shit ton of things on this, which is great. Um, I'm pretty happy about that. What kind of rounds do I have in right now? It's these ones. It's a uh, NATO 556. Hunting, it's a hunting round. And then I have a body armor round. Alright. So, I did not bring more vodka for him, did I? That's okay, that's why we have like tons of this shit. So, we're gonna see with all the money that we have how much we can do. Here's another bottle, man. Here's to a good day's work. Yeah, I wish I could shoot you in the face. Put right that... Then. Put that thing down. Alright, here we go. We got muzzle velocity or fire rate. So, bullet speed might be okay. I can't do anything with a rifle. Let's uh, start with this guy. Whoops. Whoa. Let's start with this guy. Weight carried or health restoration? We're gonna do weight carried just because I'm a pack mule. Do you, do you want chemical and electric uh, protection, or do you want thermal protection? Um, and then there's suit durability or impact negation. Impact negation is uh, pretty good, because that will mean uh, I can have more sustainability. And I guess chemical and electric protection. So that's that's all pretty good here. Uh, the helm, either radioactive or side protection. We're going to go with the side protection. I'll also repair this guy too, so that's pretty good. For this rifle, here we go, we got a couple things here. Handling, yes, that's the only upgrade we can do yet. So remember, we have to kind of just pick one. So I'm going to go with accuracy for this gun. Uh, we can either get fire rate or muzzle velocity, which I'm not too sure, but we'll do that one, sure. That's pretty good. Now as for the shotgun, we'll go with um, longer one, proves the flatness, or recoil. I'm going to say muzzle velocity for that one. Handling or recoil? Like, the recoil is not bad with this gun. So let's do handling. And I guess we don't get an option with that gun. And there you go, now we just need fine tools and that is not something- uh, Sorry, that no, the- Does not use shot. Makes it impossible to fire shot, but accuracy outweighs the drop- Wait, the rifle part of the barrel makes it impossible to fire shot, but accuracy outweighs this drop back. I don't understand. Whatever. Fuck it. That's all pretty good. Um, are there any other weapons I kind of want to... Maybe maybe I'll bring that AK over because this is actually pretty cheap. Cheaper than I thought it would be to upgrade all this. Because that's, that, that's a pretty common gun I have here. Let's have a look at this guy. So there you go. Muzzle velocity or fire rate. Uh, I guess we're going to go with the uh, fire rate. With this gun. Reliability, sure. Uh, mag size, okay. Because this is like one of those guns that have accuracy, sure. Handling, yes. This is one of those guns that you have like, just as like a backup kind of thing, you know. So that's that's not too bad. So let's put that guy in here. Let's put this guy in here. The so the ammo back. Uh, where's the rounds for this gun? Why did I put the rounds back in here? Who the fuck even knows? I have a lot of cult ammo as well. But I need a, probably a little bit more. Fuck. Can't see anything because it's dark. Let's see. Do we have any ammo for this guy here? No. We could also sell that stock receiver virus, you know. It's always an option. Trade. Tell me he has ammo for me. No. He doesn't. 
Oh well, what are you gonna do? He doesn't even hey, have bro. silencers. Hey bro. Twelve gauge. Do you have... No, no five fifty six suppressor either. Oh my god. It's guys have like the worst accents. Alright, well. I think we're I think we're good to go. Uh, unless the some does actually does he I think I have uh, information for him. Okay, no, I don't. Because I had I had those papers and find well it, someone interested in the, the area map. Ah, if you got something, spell I know about the means. that. If not, take a hike. So I have I got those area maps from the helicopter, and now what I do is I actually talk to is it this guy? Uh, oh, I found an ally. He's dead, killed by a late tremor. Oh man, why do the best of us always go first? Okay, whatever, no one cares. Talk to the boss. I'm more into shooting than beating gum. Alright. That's not the guy I need to talk to either. I mean, it's this guy. Yep, this is the guide thing. So, I got him maps. He needed maps to be able to guide me between Zaton and Jupiter. Uh, so, it goes, okay. Uh, I'll <laughs> copy it to my PDA, and I can offer you a nice discount. So now he'll guide me in between there for a price, uh, essentially. Uh, so anomalies are not something that I can need to know about really. We've already kind of dealt with a lot of them. Okay, that's how much to get to Yanov Station. Their maps only a thousand. All right, let's go. Here we are. Yanov Station is a haven of relative safety in the area around Jupiter. This is where we go our separate ways. But if you need me, look for me by the bar. First time here? I'm relatively new here myself. The name's Nitro. I work with equipment. I can repair anything you need. But getting some good tools is a problem around here. If you see anything, bring it straight to me. And, if you need any technical help, come see me and I'll be glad to do what I can for you. Alright, so we have our first uh, guy that kind of helps with uh, some of the work that I need done. So we have a bit of a... Aloha! Oh my fucking god. See you. I bet he's going to be my favorite guy. This is Hawaiian. <laughs> Got how fucking much I hated his voice. Oh, dude, he's got some ammunition for me. It's not ch not cheap, but hey, you know what? Uh, it's an investment into our future. So no no new guns really that are anything interesting here. I'm not much of a pistol guy either. Actually, wh why is this stuff here? One second. There we go. Alright, see you next time. On the way back, I, I know why that Oh, because I, I took it off. Was a controller chilling Hello. right on top of it. Now, I thought to myself, controller or no controller, I gotta get my shit back. Then I realized that if I shield myself with something, its manipulation bullshit won't work on me. So, I picked up a metal grate that I found lying around and started sneaking up on the beast. By the time it woke up to what was going on, I pumped half a clip into the cocksucker's head. Just as it started trying to control me, I gave it a final bash with my rifle butt, and that was that. Yeah, not bad. So he's telling an outrageous story. You want to listen to your stories too? Tell me how you killed the controller. Alright, so I clocked the controller sitting right on top of it, I grabbed a metal grate. It's pretty much the same thing that you just said right now. That's it. So, um, yeah, he's got stories to tell. Just go with that. But we don't like him because he's a fuckface. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. We got nitros right here. Uh, if you need any tools, I can get them. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll look for them. So bring nitro tools. You mentioned materials. All right, so finding materials to work with radio chrome is damn near impossible. Um, because you can make uh, more cash selling guns. Okay, might be there could be something left of this. So he's looking for radio materials. Okay, I can get materials for you. That would be great. Uh, he's, things I'm not even gonna pronounce that. Or capacitors. Uh, 
Al, I'll be extra gra grateful for some text delight. I can't promise you lots of cash, but I'll give you a discount, that's for sure. Why would there be radio materials at a cement factory? It's just a name, apparently. Um, it stopped making cement a long time before the Chernobyl disaster. Uh, disassembled what they could to start making electrical uh, appliances. Or what do you need them for? Uh, who cares? Okay. So, he won't do anything for me except for repair my gear right now. That's why we did that before we came here. Because it cost me a thousand bucks, basically, to, to transfer ourselves between... Uh, between both areas. So, we don't do that. And if you go down here... Hey, check it out. It's our stash that apparently has nothing in it. Okay, I thought that moved around with us. That's, um... A problem. Alright, I may have... How goes the hunt? Made a mistake in thinking that the, my stuff comes with me. Good hunting. Hey, bro. May have made a mistake. What's up, bro? But, but you know what? You know what? That's that's fine because this is actually a challenge run. I did it on purpose. All right. Here's the Long good old day. doc. Need medical assistance. Uh, your your liver is bigger than I expect, but it's an occupational hazard. You're as healthy as a burr. All right. Well, I got nothing out, nothing here. I really want to give to him or anything like that. Stay out of trouble. So, we have. Hail and well met. So, this guy is. Hello, Stalker. Well, I have a question for you. Ask away. Um, you know anything about crashed helicopters? A patrol reported that a military helicopter attempted a, a crash landing near Jupiter plant. Unfortunately, the chopper crashed right into the roof above the workshops. There are probably no survivors. The patrol didn't receive any distress signals. Alright. Uh, you know who Magpie is? No, he doesn't. Have seen any military around? Soldier's corpse was spotted in the minefield recently. A couple of the fellows flew into the chopper. Um, uh, flew in that chopper. The chopper carries up to eight people in addition to crew. So they must have found a way out. Nobody knows where they went. So apparently someone may have survived from the minefield, uh, which is um, one of the places where one of the... Uh, one, one of the choppers went down here. And so, uh, I'm asking who has a job for me. He says, uh, you can help us fight against our zone and those who think it's a gift rather than a curse. Go see the commander uh, of the duties expedition unit. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Shrilaga. He's man in charge at Yavov, Yavnov Station. You'll find him in Northern Wing. So we have two factions here. One's called Duty, one's called Freedom. And, um, Hello, stalker. One of them is a fucking prick, one of them is not. Time, Get talking. I like this guy's voice a bit. Okay, tell me a bit about duty. What do you want to know? Alright, um... I don't know. What brought you to the center of the zone? Why are we here? Uh, I'm going to venture guess and say you're here for the same reason. The center of the zone has always been an unreachable objective. Uh, a place where we were hoping to ha get answers to all our questions, and we want to find out how the zone was created and how it was destroyed. That's... Why, as soon as we heard about the rumor that the brain scorcher had been disabled, we moved, made a move to the center. What'd you find out? But anyway, that's all confidential. All I can say is that there's more to the zone that meets the eye. Some of the people believe that the zone is a tumor that must be removed at any cost. Given what I've seen, I'm more inclined to believe that the zone is a living organism and we are nothing more than bacteria that live inside. Even if we combine the, mil uh, the military might of every country on the planet, we still couldn't destroy the zone. That's why we have to be smarter than that. We have to find a reason for the reason for the zone's existence and eliminate it. What if you can't eliminate for that reason? Well, if you can't, then we'll have to think of something else, but there's hope. We must do our duty and stay positive. So I guess duty is the one that's... I forget which one is which, but... One is, like, the one that hates the zone and wants to destroy it, and I guess I think this is it. Uh, duty would be it. And freedom is like, oh, they like the zone, they want to live in harmony. Freedom. Officially, freedom and duty are at war, and life in the center of the zone has its own set of rules. There are very few places that neither freedom nor duty could boast a lot of manpower. So what's the point of killing each other? Uh, that's unspoken rule of why we stay out of each other's way. The rule doesn't apply outside of Yavnov, though. We're, we're at war, and it's for real, though. Okay, forget it. Okay, I can't trade anything with him, so that's it. Yeah, he's got a rifle here that I can't have. Can I take his safe? No. So, that's what this guy's all about. Um, so, I think that the way it works is... I think this guy is a part of... Uh, this guy is a part of duty. Um, so, you, you side with one of them. We side with duty or freedom. Um, and so if we decide to side with freedom... Well, spill it! It's... They're the nicer guys. 
All right, this guy's a job for me. I'm Uncle Yar. I'm guessing you're tired from the road. Have a bite to eat. Since you're here, I uh, just give me a ration. Okay, what's the job? Easy as pie. Two of us make our way over the Kapochi. Not, I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, and you'll see the rest when you get there. Won't your freedom friends help you? Oh, they don't want to bother them. Two of them candle it. Okay. What's up, bro? Uh, there's another guy. I'd like to ask you something. No, I don't want to ask you something. Uh, who has work for me? Go see your boss. Sold the wincing Loki. That's him. So. What's up, bro? Come uh, here's, on in, man. Relax. Oh, he has a sniper. Take a load so, off. Dude, he's got a sniper rifle, so obviously he's the one. Tell me about freedom. Oh, sorry, what do you want to know? What, what is it you do here? Uh, we're making sure various officials don't conceal anything from the common folk. You know how it is. As soon as uh, they find a lab or some documents and shed light on the secrets of the zone, they immediately organize a military operation and clean anything up better than a freaking Hoover. <laughs> the only way of finding, uh, finding shit out is by getting there first. Okay, what brought you to the center? Well, the boys like, felt like taking a stroll in a new place. Just kidding. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's an opportunity to find stuff uh, that the world has ain't ever seen before. Neither uh, army nor stalkers have been here before, and there's something new everywhere you look. Alright, did you try anything? A couple of locked doors and some weird new artifacts. Alright. Uh, okay, well that's it for that. So, which ones do you want- which, which ones are we gonna do? Well, if we want, I guess, the good ending, we're gonna side with freedom here, so... Because they're the guys who are like, all like, let's all live in happy, positive harmony. Makes me sick. But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to get a decent ending. And here's outside. There's a guy out here, though, apparently. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to me. He's just going to stand there and look at me. So I guess we'll start off by uh, talking to this guy over here and doing what he wants. So, Alright, let's go. We'll be back before you can see a bloodsucker. We're going with good old Uncle Yar. And don't tell me when in the middle of the night. Uh, actually, it's kind of the, the wee bits of the morning. Uh, main thing is, don't be surprised at anything. Follow me quietly, and we keep hush hush, and things move nice and easy. Okay. Well, you can go as slowly as you want. So, we don't really know what we're doing with this guy. There's some guys right here, but I guess I'm not going to open fire quite yet. Looks like a quiet village. Unless we disturb the local residents. Maybe I should turn my light off. I don't know, I forgot what movie it is that... Yeah, that guy's... That guy's looking at me funny. What did you do that for? He didn't touch you, did he? Damn! Okay. Maybe I should have kept the light off. It's actually a nice rifle. Ah, oh, I'm fucking dead. All right, let's uh, let's let's be a little bit better about that next time. Like, not turn on the light. I guess we'll just use the blinding light night vision. That sounds that sounds pretty good. Fucking night vision. Fuck. Okay, let's go. I think I quick saved it before I went. Okay, let's go. Night vision! I'm just gonna crouch behind him, I guess. I don't know if it's the lights that triggered or what. Hey, do I have another firing mode for this? No. What's the firing mode on this rifle? Oh, dude, I can do a three burst. Yeah, we'll do Looks that. Looks like a quiet village. Unless we disturb the local residents. Yeah, why would we do a thing like that? That would be ridiculous. Good morning, sir. I mean, if you so don't... So peaceful. It's like a resort. No, this guy's a piece of shit. But anyways, it appears that we are heading to the house over here. For what, we do not know. He has not told us yet. It's a secret. And you know what they say about secrets. 
I actually don't know what they say about secrets. We're almost there. I really wish I could turn my light on. When we get into the house, we will. All right, now we definitely need the light on, light on. This is a nice rifle that we that we got. I'm actually really happy. All right. See if I was right. Hey, it's some guys. <laughs> okay, he's missing slightly. We're gonna switch up the ammo, except I don't have anything to switch to. Okay. Let's see where this guy is. Oh, there's one. Okay, don't know what we were doing with this, but you know what, turkey so, shoot. That's that. I can see you're bursting with questions, and I can understand that. Let's have a little talk, shall we? Bursting with questions indeed. Alright, take this. Uh, and ask away. Okay, what happened here? Uh, some lads came to kill me. You see, I was hiding out in the bushes, minding my own business, when a mercenary squad showed up. The leader was yapping away on his PDA about a central lab on Pripyat. An urgent order, this and that, and I stepped onto a stupid branch and alerted them to the fact I was there. So I grabbed my rifle and made a run for it. But I always had the feeling that they had come for me. That's the price of, uh, we pay for eavesdropping nowadays. Uh, why don't you ask freedom members for help? Uh, what's the point of getting mercs angry with freedom? Uh, we had one war, and that was enough. This is a personal matter. No point involving them, you know? Alright, take care. Uh, I'm gonna go on my own. I'm not gonna go with them to Yan enough, because you know what? We just got a shit ton of things, uh, that dropped nearby. And we also have a place that we can explore here. Look at this place. Yanov is like... Who the fuck knows where Yanov is? I think it's like right here. Yeah, there's Yanov. Yanov is right there. So we have some shit we can do. Fuck, I missed. Good thing they don't care. Well, you may care. You're like, why am I watching this dirty casual anyways? So, we have a fuck ton to loot here. There's also some radiation here. So one thing you can do is we can just remove, I think, this artifact. And ta-da, we're slowly getting rid of our our radiation as we do whatever, as we loot things. Which is an excellent idea, trust me. But we're not really trying to look for these guys. The mother load is in the guys that we just were dealing with. Cause I don't know if you guys noticed, but they actually had some, they had some fucking gear on them. This one of them? No. So he's a zombie. Whoop. He's also- look at this guy, look at this- uh, His fucking face, man, I love it. Alright. Zombies don't come with much better gear than what they have. Uh... Look at, look at this fucking flashing, like, radiation thing, it's because it's getting rid of it as it's, uh... Oh, we just got an H&K- oh shit, man! Uh... what's better, my gun? I guess my gun's better. This one's more accurate, though. What kind of sight does it have? Uh, it's got a Trijon ACOG. Oh, apparently I, have, I already have one of those. Okay, that's what this that's what this ACOG is. Now, if you're mad that I'm mispronouncing it bad, then 
than two fucking bad. So, because of the fact, like, this is actually a radioactive area, but we don't give a fuck because we have that anomaly thing, so. Oh, here's another one of these guys. Okay, he's got some decent stuff. He's even got a pistol, H and K USB. Kind of good. Oh, this guy's got some nice shit too. Okay, I like you. You can come over to my house and have fucking Christmas dinner, asshole. Alright. Um, and this guy is a piece of shit, so he doesn't have anything. So. Probably shouldn't be spending all the time in the world in this fucking radiation field, but you know what? It doesn't appear to be having an adverse effect on my health. The long term, uh, we can debate that. However, we got another rifle here. Look at this one. The Bushmaster M4. Some pretty fucking cool guns. And if I and if I went back with them, I would have been giving up all of this. So let's have a look here. Bushmaster M4. And then we also have this uh, FN Scar. Uh, that's a uh, 762 ammo. What's this one got? This one uses 6.8. Six, six, 43. Fucking hell, man. Does he have a suppressor on that one? He's got a suppressor on that one. Dude, that guy was pimping it out. But he's got... I got no fucking ammo for that. We got Galil. Um, and yeah, these are some pretty neat guns. I won't lie. Alright. We're gonna start heading back to Yavdon Yav Yav Station. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop steroids. I did pop steroids, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. I fucking pop pills. Fuck me. Then we're gonna go back this way. Why the fuck am I in radiation all the time? Destroyed my life. Alright. So we have some shit we want to do over here. But wait, we're not done yet. Oh shit. Fuck, how do I fucking run into that all the time? You know, I think there's actually a... Someone mentioned there's actually a, a counter for when you're being seen by uh, enemies. and you're, or not, Well, not enemies, but anything. And now it's foggy. You know, I, I did kind of think to myself, I, it was kind of inconvenient to see kind of far. So, wait, what the, where the fuck am I? Oh no, this is... What the fuck? Why is it like... Oh, because it's like hooked in my thing. I don't know when I went through a, this this kind of shit, but yeah. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Okay, this guy has a shotgun. A, a guy had a pistol. Oh, look at this shotgun. This is the same shotgun I had. Back in my other fucking stash that apparently didn't transfer. I thought it transferred over. I swear to fuck. I'm only mildly upset about that if you did not notice that. Alright. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, we got some trains to go to catch. They're asking. Mike, why do we have trains to catch? And then non-sarcastic banner. Actually, it's down there. Because I know about this train. It's actually some nice fog, I'll be honest. I need some energy drinks. We unfortunately cannot see dogs, but we're almost to the train, so it's all good. Now this train is important to us. Because this this train here has an anomaly in it. That's not really the important factor. Is there anything actually good over here? No. Dude, we can just jump onto it. Alright, uh, some goodies in there that I really want. Okay, hopefully touching that will not be hazardous to my health. Am I not allowed in here through here? Oh shit. Okay, let's try that again. Even though I'm using right now steroids to make myself go places. 
Don't worry, I have more steroids. So that's all good. Shit. Okay, good. We did it. Alright. Is there a place I can enter the train from up here? Right here. Alright. Now let's hop into the train. Eh, that's not good. Oh boy. No, we can't just shoot this thing. It is an anomaly. Alright, let's uh, take cover over here for a sec. Medical supplies have been placed in a per personal box. We're helping the, the stalkers out. Okay. Uh, shit balls. Oh, here it is. Alright, I picked it up and you're asking, what is that, Mike? Well, it's um, basic tools for basic work. Fuck off. We got some medical kits. That's pretty good. Uh, let's try and run back before I run out of uh, energy. Even though I'm hearing all these fucking bugs. Don't get me out of ammo for this gun, like, real fast. Alright, I think, uh, because I, I could hear them in the fog, but I didn't know where they were. I also think there's some places here that there's uh, some, uh, items, but I don't want to go exploring here right now, so. And I'm getting messaged. Alright, dealt with that. In a, in a timely fashion. So we have this guy. Hey, hey. I brought you tools. Basic work. There you go. So now he is willing to go and upgrade stuff, and I'm really hoping I don't have to. All right, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this guy I can repair some shit and whatever, and do whatever I want with this thing. Um, I'm looking at this, and actually, the Galil and FN Scar appear to use the same ammunition type. Yep. So I, I think so, right? Yeah, I'm not retarded. So. Um, Let's just drop this guy. I don't need it. Uh, the Bushmaster is going to be something that's going to have to wait. Um, H and K. I mean, I already have this other rifle. How does it compare? Uh, does slightly more damage, but less accuracy. You don't think so. I'm listening. Oh, I'm already out. Come on! Something, something bloodsuckers. made life real difficult for just about everyone. Stalkers I already have one of these shotguns, night, but, it didn't help but it's in the other place. I may have to go back for it soon. One day I decided to help them out, so I took my shotgun and get rid of these pistols. And went for the blood lair. So this guy doesn't actually appear to sell as many guns, At times, which is interesting. Even three together. So that guy now has basic tools for work, and then the I'll get the fine tools. I'm, I'm sure pretty soon. I think it's at the. I think it's over here somewhere in the Jupiter plant. Or the concrete bath anomaly, somewhere around here. Oh, I know. Alright, I just put it all in here because I kept getting messaged and I didn't want to fucking leave that in. But we can trade away some of these bandages and brands and shit like that because we don't need this crap. Maybe not the bandages, but yeah, that's that's all good stuff we can sell. I am not using this rifle nearly as much as I thought I would. I, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, so what do we have left here? Doesn't look like much. Got some materials to do. What I may do, though, is I may bring at least some of my ammunition and rifles back. Because how much money do I have? Yeah, it'll cost me a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, how much to get there? Yeah, it's gonna be only a thousand to do it now, so... I would like to have the shotgun, I think, at least, so... Uh, let's do that.